Hi everyone, it's Lady Ozma. I'm at my house and I'm going to do another video about something I printed up this week. Um, this week's challenge was interesting. It was to take a picture and then do some Photoshop edits uh, and using some different um, Photoshop tools and whatnot, not actually just like editing the photo, but adding things to the picture like text and whatnot. And you know I've been on a big kick with that if you read my blog over at ladyasthma.info. Um, so, you know, anyways, you can go over there, you get more information on what I did, but I wanted to show you how it printed out. So first of all, I took that photo in the background, uh, and I really love it. And everybody who comes to my house loves it. Uh, and it's, it's just a really wonderful photo. It was part of a photo challenge in, at an invite, um, an invite only photo exhibit that I, that I took part in. And ever since I had it, I knew I wanted to use it for something more than what was on display at the, the visitor center at the temple, uh, which is this really gigantic, that's like the biggest picture ever. And I just didn't know what I wanted to do with it, but I knew I wanted to use it. And this project, it just like, I was like, oh, this is it. I know it's what I want to do. So this is what I ended up making. And I printed it full bleed. And actually I found out I have cheap printer paper. So I guess I need to, get better printer paper if I ever wanted to do something portfolio quality and not send it to Kinkos. Um, so I ended up printing this on um, satin photo paper, which I actually love satin photo paper. The only thing that, that makes me sad is that I had to include this stuff for the challenge. And honestly, I would have left it off had I not needed to do that. So what I did was in Photoshop, I learned how to do swatches, which I never really care to do before. I just always would use my eyedropper and go, oh, I want this color, I want that color, or I want this, you know, this color down here, you know. And I would just sort of like eyedropper and then use that color for a while. And then it's just there sort of sitting there and recently used. But I did it right and I made a swatch, um, which is where I got all of these colors. Right. And so that was actually a lot of a lot of fun. And I can see where that would be useful, especially if you're doing a lot of graphics design and you want to have um, like I actually really like these colors and this color combination. So I'm glad that I have it saved. Um, so uh, I say so a lot. You got to I do better with a script where people tell me what to say. I don't do so well off the cuff, uh, as you can tell. Most people don't. But I just wanted to apologize for all the so's. I know they might be annoying. Uh, but yeah, so I. Did, you know, I did my font and I used only one font. I thought about taking these parts I wanted to highlight and making them another font like I've done recently, but I just felt that what the message was should be simple. And I did a lot of different things, but I really just felt that it needed to be simple. So this was my finished project and I really like it. And actually um, I've had several people who critiqued it, who said that they, that I should put it in my portfolio uh, and they really liked it. In fact, I had to give a copy of this to my mother. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it, apparently it went over really well. That makes me happy. So that's my little project. Uh, if you want to know the words, it says to have a healed and faithful heart, we must first allow it to break before the Lord. It's a quote that Neil Marriott said. She just spoke at the recent general conference for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, of which I am a member. And she was talking about that. And I just loved the simple message uh, and the simple beauty of the photo, and I just left it very simple. You can tell I have some squares um, around. You really can't tell there, but um, I did do like a lighter green here, so I wanted to give it kind of a matte look because um, I'm a photographer, and you know, I can you can tell I like to matte stuff. Anyway, that's it. I'll talk to you guys later. Go check out my blog at ladyasma.info. Bye.